Yeah, that's uh, pretty damn good actually. So this is the uh, C64 showing some Atari ST picks, possibly some other things as well. <coughs> God knows what I was doing, mate. So uh, yeah, I really have run out of uh, live streams to watch now. I won't be watching any more live streams. Got nothing to do with the uh, person who runs the live stream. I did used to watch four. But the whole point of live streams is you chat with the people in the little chat window. And all those people refuse to come on my channel. Apart from the ones who are already on it anyway before I met them on those live streams. So not really any point is there. I don't know if the camera is actually lined up at the moment. I don't know how much we can zoom in, but that is the top there. There we go. Uh, maybe we can swivel it round a bit. Swivel on this, in it. So yeah, this is another uh, Atari ST. 16 color picture and these are 320 by 200 pictures on the C64 obviously with some restrictions there's always some restrictions on the C64 that's just the way their hardware works it's breaking the barrier for what you can actually do but with restrictions so as long as you can work within them but uh, yes yeah, a great package this uh, image converter and now that I have worked out exactly how to process the images to feed into it using uh, PaintShop Pro version 8 which apparently is on uh, day 156,384 past my 60 day free trial oh, that's a shame that it's flickering because uh, that is actually really really nice quality Get that. How can I stop that flickering? Eh? Mm, I don't really want to mess about with the settings. It looks a bit golfish bowly to me as well, actually. Oh, that's what's going on there then. Hmm. Because of the light background. So you do get a hell of a lot of detail with 320 by 200. Now obviously it would be nice to have more than 16 colours in the palette. That one should be able to line up the camera. Not really anything I can do about that. See, if I turn up the brightness to get rid of the flicker or turn it down, it does actually affect the uh, camera a bit. Let's go with that then. Eight. So, yes. Well, now the uh, colour's too hot. God damn it. There we go. On to the next picture. So yeah, I've done loads of pictures actually, and uh, I found uh, a simple slideshow program, no messing about. Mm, they do really need to be viewed on a CRT. They're still pretty amazing when I check them out on the, uh, you know, on the Windows program, but I have to really look at them on a real CRT, preferably a 14 inch or smaller monitor to get the uh, resolution there. See, it's a thing that is actually impossible to do on the C64, even uh, four colors in 320 by 200. If three colors uh, actually end up in the same eight by eight block, which they do here, see? 
on the little file cabinet. Uh, other things you can get around. Mouse cursor you could use a sprite, but this it's not something you can do on the C6 because you've got a white diagonal, a black diagonal, and then the green. Atari ST. I put that in there just so you know. You know these are the Atari ST pictures. And that's my cat purring in the background. In case you're wondering, the one who keeps pissing in the hallway in the same place. Yeah, that's you, buddy. So he has to have uh, special attention. That's what. Uh, if you were in trouble you used to get you used to get a special attention sticker on your form card some pictures seem to take load take longer to load than others I don't know why they're all exactly uh, the same amount of memory now I don't really like this particular picture because of the way it turned out on the skin tones but uh, Not really sure what's going on with the stripes there. They don't exist on the uh, on the emulator. Not really sure about that. Now, anyway, ah, and this is a composite video, so it's not RF, so it's nothing to do with that. So yeah, um, some of those uh, Pompeii pot well quite a lot actually those Pompeii Pirates and the automation uh, multi-game crack discs used to get for the ST they had some fantastic pictures on there and uh, what I should have done was the uh, outrun screens which I did for the Atari ST but you know Ah, it's that War of the Worlds picture, yes. I mean, having the resolution of 320 by 200, with up to like, I don't know actually, how many colours can you actually have? Potentially 10 colours in any 8 by 8 pixel block, it really depends how many of the sprites you have to use for the rest of the scan line really so yeah like I was saying mate like I was saying uh, yeah I'll go on these uh, chat rooms and um, well they're not chat rooms they're live chat windows on the uh, you know live streams or whatever and it's full of people that uh, I have no interest in talking to because they refuse to come on my channel. Yeah, no, it's like, why would I want to talk to these people? Who gives a fuck, mate? And some of them actually uh, give money to complete clueless fucking idiots. These have got nothing to do with the uh, live stream. Yeah, you know, this would be good if I could uh, get the uh, contrast and everything right on it because uh, it's quite an impressive picture. Maybe if I put the camera closer to the old uh, thing here. And uh, that's actually uh, the minimum. balance the uh, blue in the background against the white I think it's the the amount of yellow and white that's a problem here but yeah you know elephantine memory of the C64 as Ian Holm kept reminding you of in those adverts I don't know why they don't have those adverts on I know they stopped doing them because someone complained about the uh, the fact that they were using an elephant in there. Some prick probably eating a fucking bacon sandwich or a 
fucking Donnett about while he's complaining. But, uh, you know, it's the world we live in. There were dumb shits uh, back in the 80s. It's not an exclusive thing for the millennials. Hey, roll up, roll up, roll up. Just getting ready now for the uh, the main attraction. Roll up, roll up. And you won't believe what I'll be playing now. Uh, no, not the uh, Wicked Software 100 Big Ships. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I couldn't find any Rudolph pictures. I found many rude pictures, but that's not really... Uh, you can try that out for yourself. But uh, it is a fascinating screen mode and a fascinating program, but to actually get good pictures out of it, there is something you need to do. First, you have to pre-process your images. Well, for a start, you have to get them down to 320 by 200 exactly. If you don't, the program will load, say, uh, you know, a 256 by 200 uh, image and stretch it out to 320 by 200. So there's that. Uh, but on top of that, you have to uh, do something with the colours. Now, I'm not going to tell you what that is. So, uh, you know. So, yeah, you know. Getting very bored on YouTube at the moment. There's very few channels worth watching. Uh, there was a channel called uh, Fornado, I believe. He does uh, Twitch streams. And then he uh, puts them on YouTube. As he's, or does he do them both at the same time on, uh, you know, live YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Some other channel used to do that. I can't remember what one. But there's loads of channels I've talked to in the past, I've supported in the past, and they don't come on my uh, channel anymore either, so I fuck them too. So, yeah, you know. I don't really see the point. That's really the problem. I don't really go on YouTube that often. At the moment, I'm only really going on there uh, as a courtesy uh, in case, uh, you know, the people who do watch my Retrotronics or uh, Mad Commodore videos, <coughs> they have a question or a comment. Yeah, I, I don't like... I don't like it when people don't reply to comments, you know, especially on a smaller channel, you know, it de defeats the object. <clears throat> you know, the video is just the icing on the cake, really. It's, uh, it should really just be a springboard for a discussion, if I'm honest. And so I was going to do like uh, a video yesterday especially for, uh, you know, <coughs> the Queen's funeral and everything, because for British people, <coughs> the death of the Queen is actually a big deal, because it is quite a sombering thing. And nothing will ever be the same again for loads of people, and that includes my mum, I'm not English. Well, I wasn't born in this country, nor were my parents. I had to move to this country because of, uh, you know, anyway, let's not get into politics. Get the roll up out of the way because you always moan when I don't play the game. I thought, nah, you know, hardly anyone's going to watch anything, so. I know there's people who are not going to sit there and watch fucking uh, 11 hours worth of, uh, you know, part one to five of the uh, Mad Commodore, what do you call it? 40th anniversary special weekend, blah, that was a bit of a bust actually. Hardly anyone turned up to that. 
Massive thanks to the people who did turn up, of course. And you shouldn't get confused between me saying I think YouTube is shit or, you know, it's not my channel's not promoted enough. I think it actually is promoted enough. The trouble is the videos that do get promoted are the old videos which have got many more views and they're just, you know, gameplay footage captured from within Windows Vice or, you know, Win UAE. And if they click on the channel and see me talking bollocks and swearing, it's, it's a complete mismatch there. So we can actually turn the brightness up a bit. So these pictures did actually convert really well from the ST. So if I could, I do actually have an archive somewhere of like hundreds and hundreds of Atari ST uh, pictures from the kind of things you'd go to a user group meeting in say 1987 and uh, they'd, they'd just be like on someone's hard drive just flicking through one after the other you know some of them were conversions of uh, Amiga pictures as well I bought an ST for pixel art basically I knew it didn't have sprites, I knew it had a shit sound chip, but I already had a C64, so I was like, uh, I can draw pictures on the ST, or I can buy a Commodore 128 and disk drive and draw pictures in uh, in that, and I, just, I chose to get an ST. And so yeah, this is another good image. Uh, you could actually get rid of the div ring. It really depends how much effort you want to put into the pictures. Sometimes you have to shift the hue to a cold or a warmer range, so you shift the colours into what the C64 palette does have. Like I said, I'll never deny that the Atari hasn't got a better palette, and sometimes, you know, more colours is better. And there is a program called Raster Converter, and if you leave it running for about eight hours on an Intel i9 fucking uh, octa-core processor, you will get good results. Results that you can't get on the C64. It's still in multicolor mode. I don't know why this one's popped up again. It does cycle through them in order. Maybe there's a duplicate file on the uh, disk. Forgiving us, please. But yeah, you know, if you do actually watch my channel and support it, then you shouldn't get upset at the things I say, because they're not aimed at you. They're aimed at the people that should be watching my channel, because they watch the same shit on other channels. But they don't want to watch this channel. They refuse to watch it. Some of them make excuses. But the channels they do watch are so fucking clueless that uh, I can only imagine they bum each other at the weekend or something. So they support each other because of that. There's a lot of white on the screen on this one, so... Maybe the contrast needs to come down a bit. It would help if the button was working. Oh great, we've got the volume, which I can do from the fucking TV, you bastard. Thank you. So yeah, C64 can do Atari ST quality pictures, but limited to the uh, C64 palette. So there is that. So in some situations it's not a problem, in some situations it's a real problem. It really depends on the picture and what colours exist in the picture. And it doesn't help that uh, there is no dark grey on the C64. There's medium grey, light grey and very light grey along with black and white. That's a bit of a cock up. But yeah, look, as you can see, 
you can get some really nice results and I haven't even turned the colour up to Amstrad CPC levels on the TV but that's uh, pretty pretty interesting picture you can you can't do anything with these pictures except load them up and display them and then uh, go back to the like the regular game screen say like for an adventure game I suppose you could show half a screen's worth and have half a screen's worth of text, that's possible. I wonder if I put the Blake 7 picture in it. They do take a while to load up. They are... They're quite large pictures because they are technically... This one come out terrible, actually. Although I did manage to find the film with uh, Michelle Williams. I think it's Michelle Williams who's uh, topless. That's where the pictures in this particular issue of Hustler come from. I don't know why I've done that. I didn't write the viewer program, obviously. Uh, loading up the pictures one by one, you have to constantly reset the machine and uh, load them in again because you can't break out the pictures. It won't dump you back into the uh, basic command line. But the pictures you do generate, you can display them. You can load them and display them with an SYS command. You just can't really do anything after that. I haven't tried what would happen if you try writing a slideshow program in BASIC. But anyway, someone already wrote a slideshow program. So this is the last picture. And uh, reminds me a bit of Outcast on the Atari ST. So there we go. Should get the CRT glasses now. Eight. Run. That was pretty well lined up, actually. Amazing. I think it doesn't help that the camera's getting some of the uh, light from the window there. But I've got to see what I'm typing in it. Uh, right, what the hell do I call that directory? I think it's new releases. Ah, we forgot to do the poke in it. Ah, oh, bollocks, it's not in here. It's, uh, no, new releases is something else. They're new modern games that I found since I did the last lot of uh, new modern games. Can't remember what Love Tramp is. Love Tramp is a, a knockoff of something. But we're not here to play that. We're here to play Empire Strikes Back. There you go. I don't know what all the extra stuff is on the bottom, but anyway. Here's that one, I'm pretty sure. Probably should have done the poke, but uh, it's a bit late now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, I have actually uh, checked out the preview, but uh, I got hold of the full version. Because I thought, well, maybe, uh, maybe not everything about it is, uh, you know, underwhelming. It does take a while to load this game. Uh, I suppose it isn't a multi-load, so it's quite a large game. Um. 
I don't know, my problem with this game is it just isn't as much of an arcade quality game. I'm not talking about the graphics, I'm talking about you know the speed and responsiveness of the game engine. Uh, as the original VCS version, I, I couldn't tell you what the Intellivision version is like. It didn't come out for the Coleco. Um, I don't think any of those machines actually have hardware scrolling anyway. Right, we have to press 1, 2, 3, 4 and then return or space or something would have replaced the uh, turquoise with the uh, appropriate grayscale. Other than that, it's alright. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. I've got cheats on, obviously. So, so I'm just really testing out the graphics and the game engine. Yeah, all this turquoise business should be a great. That's what I don't like. I mean, it's an alright game. It's free. If you want to play a game, it's it's certainly better than Attack of the Mutant Camels on the, uh, you know, the C64, which is horrible. Right, you heard enough of the music now, mate. Mm, hopefully that will be okay for the camera from now on. It's just not as frantic. As uh, when you play it on the VCS, that's all. There's a bit of Emily and Hughes going on with the, uh, you know, turning round business. Greek man on his wedding night joke? Nah, we've done that too often. Obviously that doesn't apply to today. Oh yeah, I'm just whizzing through the graphics at the moment. I want to see the uh, the next lot of backgrounds. All oh, right, even more turquoise now. Great. So the little ATST things, they look really good. Your snow speeder looks really good. Uh, these things, I mean, they're okay. They're not shit, but. See, by the time you turn around, you can't get the bastards. I don't know, I just don't like that, actually. More uh, escaping. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have shot that one. There you go, look, you can see these. So they look good. can't actually turn around quick enough to shoot you. I 
and the maximum speed for scrolling is like one step too slow. Yeah, it should be like twice as fast as that. So, by least uh, I don't expect you to, you know, run it on an RE. I don't know what the hell's going on with the colours here. So, basically, this is a game that no one ever played on a real C64 when they were making it or doing the graphics. Certainly not on a CRT worth of shit. And the biggest thing about C64 games for me was always the graphics. Which is why I never bought Bruce Lee. Yeah, Bruce Lee may be a great game, but the graphics are very rubbish. It's the first level where the graphics in the background don't actually look shit. See, that, that kind of sums it up. It's, you can't get away from them droid things quick enough. You don't get them when they're heading towards you, you're a bit fucked. Really. And the colours are a bit weird. Uh, I'm not sure why they're not using like grayscales. There is no green in moonlight. You know, it's just... And so it's too much green and turquoise going on. And the C64 turquoise is quite a garish turquoise. It's like some rubbish costume jewellery uh, sort of turquoise from the 80s. Yeah, the kind of shit Madonna might wear in... Uh, yeah, desperately Seeking Susan. Oh, she was one ugly bitch, she was. Madonna was an ugly bitch. That's what we call this episode. a free game, it's alright, there's not really anything wrong with it, I suppose it's similar to Nemesis in that regard, you wouldn't say Nemesis is shit, and I suppose this is not really shit, yeah he's seen enough of that shit anyway, but it's not shit, and I can't be bothered to put the clip in from the IT crowd when he says it's not shit, when he's got the uh, chocolate mousse on his fucking forehead or whatever. Dear house, dear Frau. There you go, a bit of German for you. Je me sens défis. Don't know any other languages. I don't know what other languages he says, actually. Right then. They're not really in the right order anymore. Mm. Oh, Red Serpent. Red Serpent is a sort of Doom-like game. So I thought I'd check that out as well. <clears throat> It's not actually uh, Doom, an exact sort of 8-bit uh, down conversion as such, but it's basically a, a Doom-style game engine. I think you have to play it on keys, though. It does seem to replicate the, uh, you know, the WASD sort of type thing, and... Oh, crap, that's the point. I probably can't remember what the bloody fire button is now to uh, shoot your weapon. It's going to be a bit of a boring one for you. But anyway... Hmm... <sighs> just wondering if there's any other stuff I can unpack. Oh yeah, I was... Uh, I was watching a video on... Uh, on Outrun on the PC Engine and I don't actually know if I've got Outrun for my PC Engine I wouldn't like to uh, buy it now I can't remember.
remember what the keys are. I know what the keys are to move, but unless you can fire your weapon, it's a bit dumb, really. A bit like my channel then, isn't it? I don't know anyone who'd uh, run a channel as dead as mine, with as much content as I used to produce. I ain't played any of this shit for yonks. Let's load it up again. <coughs> Luckily it don't take too long to load. So, yeah, you know, if I haven't got Outrun for the PC Engine, that's a bit of a cock-up. I know I haven't got Afterburner. But I wouldn't like to pay today's prices for these things. And probably you'd have to get one from Japan as well. Don't know what the postage is like from Japan. Mm. That's probably no worse than America, which is a real rip-off. Ah, uh, so, uh, yeah, I have got Street Fighter 2 for the PC Engine, I remember that. I haven't found all my PC Engine games at the moment, so... We're a long way from the house being finished enough for me to know everything I've got and have it all unpacked. I'll we'll probably have to uh, get a bit, a bit more uh, furniture, bookshelves specifically. Right, so don't press the bloody restore key, man. I don't know if you're still loading now. Anyway, that's the uh, movement. It's definitely not space, which would be the... Uh, I don't know what the S button does. My knees is strafe or something. Yeah, there we go, that's the strafing keys. Oh, I've actually got enough ammo, so... I press the uh, arrow key, is that a pause thing? Great. Idiotic controls, mate. Idiotic controls. It may be technically very nice, but uh, I remember it being a key that's not easy to find on Vice. Why would you have a pause button that you can't fucking get rid of? Right, that's the end of that. <clears throat> Kind of sums up fucking uh, homebrew on the C64. Well, that didn't help. I don't know why I'm typing over. It really fucking. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> mm. There were some other games I downloaded. Uh, I think I have literally just put them in the games directory. Let's check out Love Tramp. That was. Uh, I can't remember what this is uh, ripping off. I wouldn't have downloaded it if it wasn't something that remotely interested me. Oh, it's Smurf, isn't it? So it's basically Smurf Rescue, but they haven't got the music in there. We only get, do you only get one live? No. Nah, oh, crap. Well, that shouldn't make any difference. You should, they should have used like two sprites, so you can uh, go over the, uh, ah. Because they're doing uh, hardware 
sprite collision detection. If you touch this bit here, which doesn't make sense because you're walking along here, so they should have done two sprites, one like that bit onwards and that bit onwards and then you could jump over it because you can't go up and down. Fuck off. Learn out a fucking program, will you? For fuck's sake, assholes. Yeah, well... I'd rather fucking play Smurf Rescue on a real Coleco anyway. But not with them shit fucking uh, joypads. Well, they're not joypads. I don't know what they are. They're not joysticks. They're some fucked up controller anyway. Anyway, it's a games directory. Wasn't there some sort of sub hunt game I was supposed to? Do? Yeah, sub chase. Here we go. Uh, sub chase. Any more games there? version of salamander that works maybe we do that on a separate video 